Toyota has released a Corolla with the same power per litre as a Ferrari 488 Pista. Unsurprisingly, it's not the sort of Corolla your gran would drive. It's called the GR Corolla and the engineers at Gazoo Racing have managed to squeeze an amazing 300 horsepower from a 1.6 litre turbocharged three cylinder. That's seriously impressive power for such a small production engine without the help of an electric motor. So how exactly have the engineers done it? Well, let's get into it. After a little bit of time away from making performance cars, Toyota have been chucking them at us left, right and center. However, you can't please everyone and some people have been annoyed that some of them haven't been Toyota enough. The GT86, which has been with us for 10 years, was jointly developed with Subaru. And then the legendary Supra name was resurrected after almost 20 years, albeit in collaboration with BMW. So for anyone disappointed with the sharing of parts with another manufacturer, Toyota then came out with the GR Yaris. The stubby little hotch hatch was inspired by old school homologation specials like the Celica GT4. Four wheel drive, manual and turbocharged, just what enthusiasts like you and me wanted to see from Toyota. Rather than a more traditional two litre turbo four cylinder under the bonnet, Toyota went with a smaller 1.6 litre turbocharged three pot that churned out just shy of 270 horsepower. The engine has now found its way into this larger GR Corolla. And although the version in the Yaris is a bit less powerful, it's still hugely impressive. The G16E GTS engine is a 1.6, which is actually quite big considering how many cylinders it has. If you look at most three cylinder engines, there'll be a much smaller capacity like a one litre or even less. Even though they used to be reserved for economy, emissions restrictions means more and more manufacturers are trying out three cylinder engines as an alternative in performance cars. Just look at Ford with the Fiesta ST and BMW with the i8. The Toyota engine has a cast aluminium block with an open deck. The term open deck refers to the open coolant channels between the walls of the block and the cylinders, whereas a closed deck, as you'd probably guess, would be mostly closed off. Closed deck is generally deemed to be stronger because there is just more material, but an open deck is still a popular choice for a lot of performance engines. Toyota has put a lot of work into making the block as rigid as possible. They've done this by using a main bearing girdle, which ties the crankshaft to the walls of the block and prevents it from bending too much under increased force. This is something that the B58 engine in the Supra also uses, and we've already done a video on that, so check it out. The internals themselves aren't forged, but they are pretty strong with hypereutectic cast pistons. These engines are proving to be strong so far with tuners like HKS already pushing them to over 375 horsepower. Below those pistons, there are three oil jets per cylinder. Another feature you'll find in Supra Straight 6. So these piston cooling jets are there to take cool oil and feed it into the underside of the pistons in order to manage temperatures. The G16 has a compression ratio of 10.5 to one, which is pretty high when you compare it to old school four cylinder turbo engines, like you'd find in something like an Evo or even Toyota's own Celica GT4. Higher compression ratio engines also make more heat, so the piston cooling jets really make sense. So the bottom end is pretty strong and well thought out. So let's look at the top end. There are two hollow camshafts, four valves per cylinder and variable valve timing on both the intake and the exhaust. That's relatively standard stuff these days, but one interesting feature is that Toyota has individually CNC machined the intake ports to optimize flow. The not so secret secret to the G16's impressive power figure is a single scroll ball bearing turbocharger. In the world of turbochargers, ball bearings are preferred to journal bearings because they'll often give you noticeably better response and performance. It's not just a great big turbo strapped to a tiny engine with huge amounts of lag. Those who've driven a GR Yaris will tell you how responsive it is and how the engine loves to be revved out. Rather than have the turbo and manifold separate, they are cast together in one piece. So for anyone looking to upgrade their turbo, they'll likely need an aftermarket exhaust manifold as well. So if that version of the engine makes 268 horsepower, how has Toyota's Gazoo Racing managed to push the one in the Corolla up to 300? Take a look at the back of the GR Corolla and you'll notice an odd number of exhaust pipes. 
Toyota has attributed this new triple outlet exhaust setup as one of the reasons for the increase in power by reducing back pressure and improving flow. They also say there is a revised version of the oil jet piston cooling system and improved intake pork and bigger exhaust valves. It's worth noting that aftermarket tuners have already cracked the 300 horsepower mark on the GR Yaris engine with just an ECU tune. So it will be interesting to see what the real difference is on this improved version of Toyota's three cylinder. Back when it was released a couple of years ago, the Yaris's engine was the most powerful production three cylinder engine in the world. So surely this new version takes the crown. Well, there are three cylinder cars that make more power. I was surprised to see that even Land Rover now uses a 1.5 litre three pot in the Range Rover Evoque. The P300E makes just over 300 horsepower. However, it's bolstered by a 109 horsepower electric motor. And it's the same story with the BMW i8, which only gets its 369 horsepower headline figure with the help of a 184 horsepower electric motor. The elephant in the room is of course Koenigsegg's tiny friendly giant, which is rated at an incredible 600 horsepower. However, it seems a little bit unfair to compare a limited run production engine to one that will be in the tens of thousands of cars being used every day. Toyota's little three cylinder engine is a seriously impressive engine, and it's just a shame we won't be getting the GR Corolla here in the UK. We also made a video about BMW's best engine ever, which you should check out here. Thanks very much for watching and be sure to subscribe. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.